In this tutorial, what we're going to do is do the aspects of the role playing of the police officer. In this part, this is our character selection of what we plan to do. So, here we can be able to select on who we want. But right now, considering this is early access, you are limited to the characters you can choose and devices that you will get. That's because, once again, it is early access. As we say in motocross, Ride what you brought. The misconception of the role playing of a police officer is for some reason you have to sit here at the station and wait for dispatch calls. And then once you get it, you take off and you run out like a dog to fetch a bone and come back here. Put the guy in jail and wait for another one. You are a patrolman. You are a police officer of the traffic division. Everywhere is with inside this game world, there is a fraction somewhere is being done. You are free to be able to pull over other vehicles as well as enforce the local laws. And this is what we're going to go over. Your vehicle has access points in which you could be able to get to and do things. The first ones that are set up are basically little diamonds. When you click on this, this allows you to gain access that you can be able to role play or even use even if it means sitting in the vehicle. While you're in the vehicle, you have the option to be able to run out here in third person's view or switch to the interior first person's view. I usually use first person's view because of depth perception wise. But nevertheless, that is how that's done. In the back of your patrol vehicle, you have a trunk that you also have access to. This also has access to special tools. Keep in mind that being that this is an early access game, there are items that are not available, but they're only locked out temporarily. Later on, they will be. But there are other things that are within here that you can use. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go on a patrol. And the first thing we're going to do is find out what is going on over there. Because this vehicle at this point is blocking the intersection. So we go into our dialogue and we have a question list in which we can be able to look at license and registration. Like I said, even though the other sections are locked out, this is for early access and for the moment. But we can do an alcohol test. And now we completely understand why he is sitting here doing nothing. So because he is blocking if he was doing nothing and was driving and we pulled him over, for me, role playing, I would just arrest him right away. But he is blocking and obstructing traffic. So he will be getting a test for this. Or a ticket. Even though that it says up here speeding, my role play is the initial reason is that he is blocking and hindering traffic. So we will ask him to get out of the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and frisk him down. Make sure he's got no weapons on him. Then we're just going to go ahead and outright handcuff him. And take him into the station because apparently he picked the correct place to be drunk and decided to park his car.
and then we'll now bring him in here and go ahead and process him. So when you bring your characters up into the station to process them, you will see that there's a dialogue over here to the left. The purpose of this dialogue is for registration the criminal for booking. While we're in here, the reason for this here is to allow you at any time in game to swap out from the police officer to fire or, to, or EMS. Other things that could be seen while we're on patrol, such as illegal parking. There are certain locations that are not acceptable to be parking. One of them is the sidewalk. What you do is, is that you will approach up to the vehicle and a diamond will appear in the center of the windshield. Here you can be able to place the parking ticket. Even though that there is nothing here listed for it and just other, it is parked in a no parking area because technically you're not supposed to park on a sidewalk. So what we'll do is that we'll check that and do our plates and get our points for it. Another parking violation is blocking fire hydrants. Once again, just like parking on the sidewalk, we will go up there and place our ticket. Here we have blocking the fire hydrant. We fill in our information and apply the ticket. Sometimes when we're out on patrol we may come across something that is not improper. For example, this vehicle here ahead of me who is already hitting his brakes twice. This is known as brake checking or tailgating because there's a car in front of him that he is doing this to. Tailgating is the reason for wanting to pull somebody over, reckless driving, whatever. And we can be able to pull him over and find out what his problem is. Once again we got our dialogue window. Be able to question him. If you choose to, you can test him. And if he comes back up unclean, you can decide whether you can give him a warning or a ticket. So, what we're going to do is, as I'm feeling generous, I'm just going to give him a ticket. And then send him on his way. Because the initial, even though that it says speeding, the reason for the stop was tailgating and that is why I pulled him over while I was busy on the patrol this guy had sped out of a side street and hit me this is the reason why I'm stopping him because if you look down at that map to the right there's a crossroad and he drove right into the side of my car <laughs> he pulled out went around me and then hit me on the driver's door coming back in. So we will give him a ticket and really it's twofold because speeding is one of the reasons that he's getting it because he could not control the vehicle. So as you can see here I am with another thing going on. Now while you're busy driving within the car you have a computer. Some of the functions right now are shut down only because this is still a, a first release part of the game early release but depending on where your key assignment is you click on that you get that yellow dot and the speed system on the computer does work to exit out of that yellow dot you just hit your reconfig again and as you can see when the vehicle is directly in front of me it is reading if you don't want to be following the vehicle, you could actually sit, park, and monitor traffic. As long as they pass in front of this, you will be able to see what the target speed is. If you do not want to sit in the comfort of your air-conditioned vehicle, you could always pull out the radar speed gun. 
The way this unit works is basically the key function for aim is what you use to aim on the target and then use the key function for fire and it'll pick up the target speed. And you can be able to determine if he's speeding or not and worthy to pull over. They do pay attention to detail because inside any vehicle that is passing is still registering on the computer as it goes by. You also are able to return back to your trunk and restore the radar to put it away. And you could do this with anything else including your fire extinguisher. When you are done monitoring with the computer, just pull up your little yellow circle again and go to where it says back. This will restore you back to the front pump. And now, it's uh, the radar system is now off. So as you're busy going along, doing your patrols, and then you finally reach that point between all the tickets and whatever side arrest you've done, that it's time to take that dispatch call to add a little action in your life, you can. always get the ID after the uh, after chase find out who we got here even though you got him you don't have access to search the vehicle to see if he was carrying anything illegal inside the vehicle, anywhere, his guns, drugs, or whatnot, to find out one of his what it was if that was one of his problems why he was running. And now we will go ahead and take him back to the station. Now you probably figured, well, wouldn't you call a tow truck? Well, it's still early access. 
so tow trucks are not exactly available at this time but they've already shown in the video they would be so yeah we would put them in the back of the car call for a hook and take the car away but everybody wanted the game now so everybody got it now so then we will bring our suspect here to the station in which he will be registered so as you can see when it comes to the police games and what's done in the police world, you have to remember it is a very complicated and complex system. And the reason for this is because you're not standing around waiting for call outs, as what, they, what people like to call them. There are things going around that you are handling. If a person is walking and, and falling around while they're walking, while they're, they're drunk in public, you, you have to check that out. If there's a person that is up by the building and they keep walking, getting people walking up to them and they look like they're exchanging hands and they're leaving, it's possible drug action. As a patrolman officer that you have witnessed, you have to check that out. If there's a car parked where it doesn't belong at, you have to give a ticket to it. That, and this is very important to know because right now in the multiplayer system, they're trying to handle and deal with the small bugs that are there right now. Once that has been resolved, they plan to enable this. So really, what you're playing in the single player is what's going to be in the multiplayer. So understanding exactly what your role is, I would say is important to know. Or you could be standing around here waiting for constant dispatch calls. My stats are not where they're at waiting on that. So, in the meantime, enjoy yourself and have fun out there.